all right all right all right welcome again to mg sports tv and we have some very very good news for um for you guys today um re reggae boy young 18 year old reggae boy tyreek ziminis now this is very very interesting um really really good news i wasn't going to do a video tonight but i'm saying I'm, i i must do a video um fortunately i got the opportunity to i know about this deal for some while now um how long do I know about this? Anyways, <laughs> that does that don't really matter. Anyways, so Tarek Zimini is um JC start outstanding not this season, but last season, um, um Manning Cup um player this season. Not so much, but for sure he had moments, pitch and pass of moments. Um last time out in international duties, re under 20 competition. Not the best. Not the best. We're going to get some details. We're going to go into discussion. We're also going to reveal the details of the signing, the, or, the official details um, of Zimini's um, contracts negotiation. Well, not negotiation, but what's going to happen with the deal. Um, heard a lot of people are doing the announcement, but um, it's close, but not that close. So we're going to announce the official um, details of, um, of, these, of, of the transaction. But people, um, before we do that, I would really, I would thoroughly appreciate you guys if you do smash that like button. I would most, I would really, really appreciate it if you do smash that like button. As it does, it sends out the, it sends out the video. A lot more per persons can see it. A lot more people can understand it. So people, please do smash that like button. Now, interesting, Tyreek Zimini's his debut was on March, was on March the 27th. His, his international debut was on March the 27th in the World Cup qualifying campaign against Canada, which inside Canada actually, which we lost that game, four goals to zero. That was Tyreek Zimini's debut. Now, this is what I want you guys to, to think about. And I wanted to look at this. I wanted to clearly, clearly, there are two players there are two players in particular i want to discuss and let me tell you why i want to discuss so i'm i'm, I'm going to show you the hypocrisy of how we fans i'm not going to even exclude myself i won't even exclude myself i won't even exclude myself the hypocrisy the hypocrisy of what's happening in in football in jamaica now this is what's happening right Listen to this now, people. For those who don't know, um, I have more details and I'm going to tell you the reason why. Not now. Um, I'm going to do a different stream after, I think, about Wednesday. I will give you guys the exact reason why Zimenez was playing the JPL when uh, um, was playing schoolboy football when everyone was saying, hey, why is he playing schoolboy football? On Wednesday, I'll be doing a stream. I'm going to give you guys the exact details of why Zimenez was playing school boy football on Wednesday. So please remind me to do that stream, people. Please do remind me. I'll give you guys the exact detail. But let's get back to the hypocr hypocr hypocrisy. Whereas, guys, please do smash like button. People, please smash like button. This won't be a long video, people. Just a, a congratulation video for Tyrese Minutes. But I want to speak about something. Remember when Zimenez was playing on a 20 competition? And during the under 20 competition, there were two players in particular, Tarek Zimenez and Christopher Pearson. Now, these two players came under so much pressure. And I would understand the reason why that these two players would have would, would have would have would have, would have um, fostered that amount of um, pressure on them. Re, they have represented Jamaica at the international level, at the senior international level. So the expectations of them at the junior level on the under 20 competition should have been in one in which it should have been really, really um tremendous. We we're expecting some big performances, but sometimes that is not how football is. Now, let's get back to the fans' reaction when he was playing in the under 20 competition, where both players were playing in the under 20 competition. Um, Christopher Pearson was re-signed by FC Tulsa. Why did they re-sign Christopher Pearson? Evidently, he's a quality player. He's a very good young player. If you look at, if you even listen to what the coach say about Christopher, Christopher Pearson, the coach at FC Tulsa, you can clearly say that 
This young player has one for the future, one in which we want to keep and groom going forward, which means that the quality is there. Now, same for Ziminis. When Ziminis was playing the under 20 commission, Ziminis and Christopher Pearson got so much backlash in that under 20 commission solely because there was high expectations of them. Two factors. Christopher Pierce was injured, injured in the under 20 commission. Ziminis was, was not at full fitness in the under 20 commission. So a lot of people might not know and we don't want to say these things because we're utilizing or we're making, creating excuses for the player. We don't want to do that. But look, these are the facts. Guys, please do smash the like button. Now, my problem is, is this. When we come on to these young players and we put that amount of pressure on these young players with the expectation that they should be with the expectation that they should be performing like um, Lionel Messi, performing like Neymar. That is, that is the level of expectation that was on these young players back. I'm not saying do not put these expectations on them. I'm not saying that they are the greatest. But what I'm saying is this. Sometimes we can have a balanced perspective in how we look at football. Now, when I was doing under 20 co um, coverage, there are so much persons who called me that I am deluded. People say I'm deluded. People say I'm a friend. May I pick up from a friend? People say may I pick up a local baller? These are the narratives that was thrown at me. Now, we see both players at a bigger stage. We see both players now moving on to a bigger platform, to a bigger stage. That is what we are seeing right now. Now, this is what happened um, with, with, with Tarek Ziminis. So Tarek Ziminis is set to pen a four-year deal at Circle Bruges. This, this club, um, the parent club for Circle, um, Circle Bruges, is not Club Bruges, but Monaco. They are the parent. So normally, most players, if you go and check the records, players move from Club Bruges, um, um, Circle Bruges. Sometimes they go to Club Bruges, but they would go into the Monaco system. They would, they would have gone into the Monaco system. Is it Monaco? I think it's Monaco. Yeah, I think it's Monaco. I think it's Monaco. Give me a second, people. I think it's the Monaco because they do have these two clubs have a connection. These two clubs have a connection. Okay, yes, yes. This is exactly what Club Rouge won their first national title in 1991. And won two, two more titles in 1927 and 1930 before the Second World War. The side also won the Belgian Cup in 1927 and in 1985. And has represented Belgium in Europe tournaments on several occasions. Since 2017, they have been owned by AS Monaco. So, if, if. Remember, listen to this now, people. If this um, um, Tarek Ziminis should perform well, strong possibility, the next move for him should be Monaco. That should be the next move for him. If all goes well. But, let me continue. He is set to pen a four, not three, not two, not one, four-year deal with, um, with, Club, uh, with Circle Bruges, with Circle Bruges, With Circle Bruges, a four-year deal. Now, his medical will be done not on Sunday, not on Saturday. The medical should um, will, will be completed on Monday. And after Monday, he will start his first training session on Tuesday. He will start his first training session on Tuesday. He will start his first training session 
on Tuesday. Uh, if all goes well, read the medical. He left last night, actually. So it's not tonight. <laughs> it's not today. He actually left last night. He traveled last night. Last night, he arrived early this morning. He arrived early, early this morning in um, Belgium to um, commence his uh, adaptation, going to the club, meeting here, meeting there. That's what happened today. So these are the details that I came here to give you guys a better understanding. And I want to say, um, as I said, people, sometimes we see some of our young players, people, sometimes there's no need for us to bash them saying that these players are not good, that these players should stop playing football, that these players should never this and this. Sometimes we can be critical, but not over exaggerate on our analysis. We can look at the players and say, okay, yes, you might not have the, you might not be at this level right now, but there is potential there. And this club, let me tell the people, um, Circle Bruges have been watching Zimini's for one, for 18 months now. They have been watching um, Zimini's for um, since last year, actually, last um, schoolboy football commission. So since then, they have been watching him. They have seen him. And as I said, I'll be giving you guys more information. Re the reason why he was playing schoolboy football this season. I want to say, raise a glass to Tarek Zimini's, a youth, a young man who have been really, really close with him. Extreme. A lot of people don't know. We are we are extremely close. So, hats off to you, Zimenez, and I really, really hope you take this opportunity with both hands. Take this opportunity with both hands and show Jamaica what you can do and show Jamaica your potential and show the world the lion and the fight that is, with, that is in you. So, Zimo, little Zimo, monster Zimo, Big up, big up, big up. Massive respect. Um, Toiki said, hope him don't end up like McGee. We never like think about we never like think about that. We never like think about that. I think some of the time we are just so negative on our own players. We're just so negative on our own players. We're always looking at the bad things, not providing no level of positivity. Or, or even just as though we look at JF, beat JF, beat this, say this, I wouldn't have no solution. We can beat, 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 but we don't have no solution. Sometimes we can say, okay, all right, let's address this. A player come back, a player travel go overseas um, to do well, end up back in, in, in Jamaica. All of a sudden, where of course I said this, him, this and him, that in rate, 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 and 90% of the time, we don't know the truth. We don't know what the player is going through. We don't know what is happening in Europe. We don't know the, 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 the treatment that they are getting. I mean, people and me can tell her. I mean, no, I speak with some agent. I mean, I tell her, say, the man them can't, the man them tell me some things, people. I mean, it's not easy, people. It is not easy. <clears throat> it is not easy. Me not say, me not say negative in a toy. Me not say, me not say that true blue. I'm just saying that um, we, we, we tend to look at mostly negative things right away. Just as though we would have said, boy, hopefully not come back. Before we, we can say, boy, good opportunity this film. He never performed well in under 20. Let's see what he's going to do and take it back. Rather than putting our minds to say, hope he not come back. Um, uh, come see back in J. Pill. We don't know anything can happen. He can go over there and, 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 and racial abuse, bad treatment because of a young youth from Jamaica. This or that. All, a whole of difference in can, um, which affects him and he must come back, come, re, come reform himself and go back out there again. And that is football. These things happen. Um, so why your utterance and negativity? Because, because True Blue, you are the one said hoping don't end up like McGee. So what I'm saying is true. I'm not saying that it is not. I'm not saying that you 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 are. Spe I'm solely speaking negative. All I'm saying is that we just don't really want to go that say. We want to say let's see what he can do this time around. Let's see if he can be that player to break through. Let's see if he can be that player uh, um to take it to the next level like a Leon Bailey. Rather than say why not? Uh, why didn't you say? Hope saying can he, he can be in breakthrough like Liam Bailey rather than to say hope you know hope will happen to him um not um, um, to Maggie not um, to him we can we can start having a, a more enlightened perspective not saying not saying I mean true bro I'm not bashing I'm not bashing all I'm saying is sometimes 
we can look at the, sometimes we can look at the more positive aspect of things rather than looking at the more negative that's all i'm saying and i'm not bashing you i'm not bashing at all i'm not bashing at all my brother i'm not bashing um red is um rabbit tree said rabbit rabbit tree said belgium um look like scouts are watching the schoolboy football for a while it's a move in the right direction yes they are I mean, this is how i know if you are fuck they are they are yes i the big up massive respect thank you very much um i said hopefully it opens door for jamaicans in jamaica definitely i'm hoping that it do as well so anyways people this is a short video let us drop this information um there's a lot of information out there right now which is not that accurate that is the reason i had to came on and and give you guys the accurate the more accurate information re um the situation surrounding tarik Zimini's. big up tarik um zimo Massive respect. Everyone in the comment section, big up. Um, True Blue, not, be, not, not, not coming at you. Just say, I'm um, not coming at you, True Blue. So don't, don't think that I'm trying to come at you. Um, nothing like that. Big up, people. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow uh, when I have some time. Just coming in, people. Just come in. Big up, people. MG Sports TV, people. And we are out. Boom. Boom. <laughs>